me. Elaine, good afternoon. Jeff in Las Vegas. Hi, Jeff. It's so nice to meet you. How you doing? It's nice to meet you, too. I really enjoyed Spirit Untamed. I'm a big Western fanatic. Look, I wore my little kitschy kind of Southwest. I love it. It's perfect. And your background, everything. Oh, great. thank you. You're ready for me to date myself. I was at the original uh, Cimarron Junket in 2002 in Seattle. I think it was I in Seattle. That. That's amazing. Yeah, so talk about it. What a strange journey for this franchise. I mean, it was... Uh, a, a theatrical film, then a Netflix series, and now we're back for another movie. You know, there's serious love for this horse and this franchise, isn't there? <laughs> there I mean, the spirit universe is an ever expanding mystery. It's I think it's it's such a cool thing to be to have been invited in to be a part of it. And it definitely has a Southwest Latino influence this time around. I just think that gives it such an authenticity. Was there much discussion about uh, that kind of influence in the film? Absolutely. You know, our, our story is very much inspired by and based on the world and the characters that existed in the in the TV series Spirit Riding Free. So what we wanted to do was really, you know, honor that and go back to the pilot episode and take a really deep dive into those themes like Lucky's culture and reconnecting with her past and her mother that she lost and family and adventure. And we just we wanted to take all of that and make it hugely cinematic enough for the big screen. And tell me about finding Lucky and casting Isabella. What was that search like? You know, she was always the first on our list. She was our wish list actress to bring in to play this role. And I say that because a big goal of ours when casting for the characters in this movie, for us, we wanted to bring in voices that already in their own real lives embodied a lot of the characteristics and the personality that we wanted to see up on screen. And particularly for Isabella, you know, in real life, she's already this incredibly passionate, creative, driven, and, you know, courageous young woman. And not only that, she's, she's particularly connected to her culture and to her family and to her mother. And for us, that was perfect. And to be able to bring a voice like that in and just take the pages and evolve them into what she, something that she felt was authentic was it meant everything to us because you know it made our job easy because <laughs> she was already lucky you know it wouldn't be a western without a villain so who better to call for a western than walton goggins and he's just it, my absolute favorite tell me about him getting him for the movie you love to hate the guy right i think I, he's been a hero of mine since the very first project i saw him in and to bring him in you know, it, I feel like every person we brought into this project had some really strange coincidental connection to either the character they were playing or the story they were part of. And with Walt, you know, his he expressed to us when we first pitched him the story that his mother was a trick rider. And, you know, he's been around horses since he was a young kid. So it just, you know, for us, although you know, in real life, he's the opposite of a villain. He's the nicest, sweetest guy and the most humble. But what he brought to that character just like infused this sense of authenticity and and real feeling grit that we really wanted in our villain. Without getting too technical, because I'm not too much of an expert, but this seemed like it had a widescreen format. It looked like it was just a great vista for this animated film. Yeah, you know, we really wanted to rely on that because we knew for especially once Lucky gets out into the wild and she starts going out on this adventure with her friends, we wanted to to communicate environments that would not just be up there for people to look at, but that would pull the audience in on that adventure with Lucky. And there was no better way to do that with a big sweeping format that would just allow people to settle and and feel the space around them. You know, Walt Disney sent his animators back to school for Bambi to learn how to draw deer and everything. Did you send your animators to learn how to draw some horses? I sure did. Um, I, there was one day we took a lot of the storyboard artists and some of the animators and the designers over to the Los Angeles Equestrian Center uh, to experience, you know, to to experience what it feels like to find the courage to walk up to a 1200 pound animal and try to have a conversation with it. It's not something that I have, have ever really quite been able to verbalize what that feels like to someone. So no better way than to just do it yourself. And uh, hopefully that helped everyone behind the scenes tell a much more authentic and real feeling story. Well, Spirit Untamed, what a great Western, full of girl power as well. So thank you so much, Elaine. 
and uh, good luck with the film and we'll talk again soon. Thank you. Thanks so much. It was nice meeting you.